Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our Grubbin Pilots YouTube channel. And today we're going to be installing a new SkyTech or Hartzell 149 NLR on the Project Tiger engine. So stay tuned while we have some more fun taking this old starter off, which is brand new, and putting the new starter on, which is going with the airplane. So we would like to ask you, please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. Now, as we said, this engine was a purchased new from Lycoming in 2007 and it had a brand new lightweight Kelly Aerospace starter on it that's kind of an odd size. Now it's held on by three nuts and one bolt so the first thing we had to do was remove all the hardware from the old starter and get it off the airplane. The anticipation of that was to be putting this new Skytech 149 NLR in its place. It's a much better starter. Um, this one at least has a core if you have to send it in for an overhaul as well as the Kelly Aerospace. It's pretty much just a good used, hardly ever used starter. It's had three or four starts on it in its entire life on this engine. But it's coming off to go with the um, into the drawer with our parts because the new engine is going with a new starter as well as a new alternator, new voltage regular, everything you've been seeing in the videos that we've been putting on. So the trick is, is just to loosen all the hardware. Now this one back nut right here, you want to loosen it and then you have to loosen the other ones before you can get it all the way off. And then once you get that part down, you can drop it all down. It's only being held on by the one bolt. Get the pins out. Here's a look up at the mounting pad that we're going to be using. As you can see, there are three studs coming out of the engine block and that one bolt in the front right corner. Now there's the one we just took off. It's a nice looking starter. I mean, it's a good lightweight. It spins the engine fine. And then all the numbering is on the bottom of it for, you know, all the parts and the serial number and everything else. They just wrote them on there with Sharpie. It even came with new mounting hardware, which are the steel star washers we're not going to use we're going to go with the cadmium plated ones we get from the other shop we're also taking off the label because we kind of know where the power goes uh we've done this a few times so all that's been removed and at this point we're now ready to start holding the starter into place and getting it bolted up on the engine and then it's just a simple matter of we usually put the bolt in first tighten it down part way get the other star washers and washers and nuts started on the post and then at that point you can tighten up those the nuts that are on the studs and get it snug up to the engine base and that way then you can come back and do the final tightening and torquing so that everything is locked into place now also on the bottom of the uh, one for the our shear pins should you ever have a problem with kickback those are your spare shear pins they're in a gel pack and there's two of them up bolted to the engine so they can't go anywhere and they will stay there but it's nice that they give you the spare pins not that we've ever had to change one of those pins ever so ladies and gentlemen that's what the new starter looks like on the project tiger engine it's a nice looking starter again nice and shiny and pretty and it'll stay that way for a long time so we hope you found all this useful and informative about the SkyTech. Uh, 149 NLR starter not a hard change out and you even have a sticker to say that don't crank for more than 10 seconds so again we hope you found all this useful and informative thanks for watching and have a great day flying your Grumman You know, forget buying expensive toys for your kittens and cats. Um, we find that just taking the aircraft spruce box and the paper on the tile floor is more than enough amusement for them for hours.